What an exciting evening it is here at Bronx River Art Center as Bronx Now presents these amazing pieces all based by artists in the Bronx. And this show was organized by myself and Laura James and we organized it from the members of the BX200 which is um, a website that has a database really of artists from the Bronx. We've been around almost four years now and we use that website to curate a show. This one has been once every two years of really what we think is the most active and currently working artists and so we're really trying to show what's happening in the Bronx now. Bronx-based artists come together and share their stories and through art they express themselves and bring their visions to life. It's been amazing how uh, graffiti took me out of the gang environment also has taken me out of New York City and across the world. And my inspiration is the Bronx. You know, I grew up in the Bronx. Um, from the 60s, 70s, the cultural experience that I went through, you know, from the gang culture to uh, watching the, the, the development of the hip hop culture where it started right here in the Bronx, you know, and having the element of graffiti, I, I chose the element of graffiti as the way to express myself. Each time you make a stroke on a painting, it represents a different moment, a different thought, and you build these images, and so I'm very interested in that. And these images all come from the Dutch still lives in the Baroque period. The Bronx Now exhibit also features a work of Benton Bainbridge, an artist who thinks outside the box when expressing himself through light. I call it Lisa Joy because I'm doing a technique called Lisa Ju, which means like these curves where you kind of map it to horizontal and vertical. And I was inspired to do this because I want to draw with light. So I'm using my hands, you can see on the bottom screen, to do turn these knobs and change these patches and these synthesizers so I can draw the different patterns in light. The Bronx River Art Center promises unity and a place to come together and inspire one another through art. This is also going to be able to expose our young people to art, to the value of art, to showcasing the artwork and, and really getting excited about it. When you look at the Bronx, we are known, we're rich in, in history when it comes to music and the arts. Uh, the, the question becomes, do we have a place to be able to exhibit that? Here at Brack, now we're going to have that. With all the chaos going on in our community these days, I think that art is a main attribute to get you know word out and just stop the violence and bring people together. For more information on this event, please visit bronxriverart.org. For BronxNet, this is Jennifer Bonilla.